What's up, guys? Here's my take on the Wildcat 223. I bought it. I expected to run it stock as long as I possibly could. With the coil limiting your RPMs to 4,000, it is almost impossible to ride stock. It won't get out of its own way. Um, when you punch it, it hits the rev limiter way before you ever get up to speed. That being said, I removed the governor. I put 22-pound valve springs in. I put this genuine Japanese Makuni on here, and it runs rather well. Um, from the factory... The piston sits about 42 thousandths of an inch in the hole due to the Hemi style head. But the head design is really, really neat. It is designed to have maximum flow. And uh, the next time I talk about the Wildcat 223, I will be doing a flow test on the head and comparing it to some of the other heads that are out there on the market. So uh, let's start this thing up, see how it sounds. I like the thumb throttle. I don't really care for the twist throttle much. If it looks a little dirty, that's because we just got done racing last weekend at Spider MX in Wildwood, Florida. And um, this thing did really well. Uh, surprisingly, on this heavy bike with a 200-pound rider, it did extremely well on a very difficult, demanding course. I'm going to turn the camera around for a second. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. We have lots of races coming up this year of action-packed schedule. I don't have many videos on there now, but I will have plenty to come this year. And I've got a bunch to edit through and that I will be adding very soon. Um, a shout-out to a couple people. Fran Hosh, Motorcycle Law Attorneys. Um, Evan Rubel from RCF Micros. Uh, Studs Racing has agreed to work with me on a couple parts this year for my race bike and um so get out there spend the money help out the sponsors that help keep us going thank you have a great day